Hello and welcome to Combat Mission Battle for Normandy for a Goon vs. Goon Let's Play. This will be the first turn for the Canadian side. Uh, as you can see here, you are all deployed as per your orders. Uh, I think everybody is hidden except for the machine gun and I don't think the snipers are hidden either. Uh, you can see here this is your first section spread out along this tree line. This is your second section spread out along uh, these houses along Alberta Street. Uh, they all have circular cover arcs as per your orders and this is third section which is uh, as per Ace Buckeye's orders in this house waiting in reserve. Sniper team facing this way, scout team facing that way, HQ. And uh, you can see you have some early sound contacts which I will uh, get into in a minute uh, once... yeah there you go. So you have uh, some infantry moving up here and here and that's all spotted by one of your hiding teams, which is uh, pretty impressive given that they're hiding. So let's get in there and take a closer look. So it is in the last 10 seconds of the turn Enemy that uh, your scout team here spots some Germans. Uh, looks like they are jogging through the woods, probably why they're Enemy generating so much spotted. sound. Uh, your paratroopers are happily reporting lots of contact, but they are hiding, so they are not opening fire. Uh, which I think they'd be a bit more liable to do. Zoom in here, you see that is uh, a Falschenjäger with a, scope, with a uh, scoped rifle. And back there, that is not a Falschenjäger. That is, well, whoever he is, he has an MP40, which is interesting. Uh, but those are the only two that you actually spot. You have some very solid contacts all around this area. Uh, but those are the only two you can physically identify. So uh, you have contingency orders. Uh, your plan is to ambush the Germans when they get within about 50 meters, I believe is the parameter. So uh, I think I am going to continue running the turns for a little bit. Uh, because as you can see, they are still uh, 150 meters and almost 200 meters away from your first scout team. So they are not quite within uh, the proper range for your engagement yet. So uh, I will keep running this turn until they get there, and then I will start executing your ambush. Alright, this is turn two of the uh, Canadian side. As you can see, you continue to have those sound contacts. Uh, I'll, do, I'll go through and click through who can see what at the end, so I don't interrupt your overall picture here. Uh, you can see these contacts are continuing to rush up to your positions, so uh, they're on either quick or fast moves it looks like. Uh, which indicates that they probably don't know they're about to run into your units who are currently hiding, but do not have fire arcs on, so they will shoot if they get close enough. Uh, you can see they just continue to multiply. You have uh, a whole bunch coming across a fairly narrow front right now, and there you start to uh, engage, put out a fair amount of tracers, which uh, I hope you're able to see the tracers in the video. Uh, and that is a lot of sound contacts, and they start returning fire almost immediately on your men. Yep, and that's the situation at the end of the turn, so uh, I'll just click and see who can see what. So, uh, they're pinned and rattled. Uh, they took a lot of return fire, but uh, I'll go down and show you who they killed at the end. Uh, this team, uh, they're aiming and shooting at uh, some of the contacts they can see here. And this team down at the bottom can see a few teams, but they're still hiding. And your scout team can't see shit, but they have a vague idea. And uh, I'm not sure, but I don't think any of your guys in uh, town have a view, although I think I saw one of them trying to shoot earlier. Actually, it is uh, probably worth noting that this German unit here is spotted by this squad up here. So here's a uh, close-up of the Germans coming in on your position, and I'll, uh, I'll, get, I'll go through it so you can see at the end. And BAM! Okay, that ambush worked really well for you guys. Uh, you can see those stem things just absolutely destroying this German infantry at close range. Uh, they continue a good rate of fire, but they only get off uh, one or two solid bursts before uh, they start getting uh, suppressed. And I'm just going to run through uh, one more time with the trees off so you can get a, uh, a better idea of exactly what's coming at you. You see... Uh, oh, sorry about that. 
You see, that's uh, scoped Falchimager Man. You see more Falchimager. These guys are all with MP40s. You see a whole bunch of regular German soldiers. They mostly have rifles. Uh, here they're getting right up it in your faces at this position. You can see a whole bunch more uh, German infantry appearing in the background. Uh, way back there. Oh, right over. These guys are also just regular infantry. These guys are also just regular infantry. Uh, so yeah, you've only actually seen, I think, four German paratroopers at this point. The rest have all been regular German infantry, so that is something to take note of. Alright, this is uh, one last overview of the map, and I will see you next time.